Hey guys, this is Zach Desjardins, and I'm here at the Solder Well headquarters, and I want to show you a few products. Cinema. This first one here is going to be the Seal Floss 15% round rod and why I like to use it over any other rod out there on the market. Now I've been at HVAC Service Tech for the last 15 years and I came across this product about a year and a half ago. And since I did, I absolutely love using this product on any copper to copper uh, joint that I have to braze out in the field. Now let me tell you why. The first thing I want to start out with is the housing of, the, of these rods. Now what's really cool about this is instead of having a um, rubber end to it that always gets lost, you can basically just twist the end off to get to your rods as you need them, and then you can basically put that rod back on, no problems. And what's also good about these, they're a little bit more robust, so you won't have to worry about pulling the, the housing out of your you know, acetylene kit and then the bottom just busting out and all your rods just fly out. So these housings are built to last. All right, and then the most important is the rod itself. Now, you have a choice when you're out there in the field. You can choose a 0%, a 5%, or a 15% rod. Now, the only difference on those is the amount of silver that's in the rod themselves. Now, this is a 15% round rod. Now, this is the only rod out there like its kind. Now, I choose the round rod over a flat rod just because it feels a lot better in the hand when you are applying it to the material. You can slightly twist it in your hand and it gives it a really nice smooth uh, feel when you're brazing. So that's the reason why I choose a 15% round rod over a standard flat rod. All right, so the next step is using the product. I'm gonna go ahead and put this piece of three quarter inch copper. I'm gonna be brazing copper to copper here. So I'm gonna use my oxycetylene torch and what makes this rod better than any other rod out there on the market is just the way it feels and the way it flows. That's just something that you're gonna have to uh, figure out yourself when you get it in your hands. All right, so just like any other rod that you're gonna be using when you're brazing, you wanna start heating up on the coupling side. That's gonna be the thickest part of the material, and then you just work your way around. Now with this rod, it's no different. You wanna heat it up to a certain temperature where the rod starts to flow. And that's when you're gonna feel the difference. When it starts to flow around that joint, it's gonna be, it's a little bit of a slower flow than what you're used to, which is good. It's more manageable and it's more efficient at what it needs to do. All right, so for the final product, here's what this braised joint looks like. Now, as you can see here, we got good penetration all the way around this joint. Now, this um, rod was able to flow very well with me with minimal effort. Now, that's what I wanna make sure I, you guys take home on that, is that this rod really helps you be very efficient at brazing because the way it just want, it wants to wrap around that joint and flow, it just makes your job a whole lot easier. Now, again, I've been doing this for about 15 years. I own my own HVAC company. So for me, it's very important to have a product, a rod that does a good job because I do not want any callbacks. I don't want to come back to the job just because that rod did not do its job properly. So again, guys, you've got a choice when you're out there choosing a rod. Now, 50% is gonna be the way to go for me. I've been using it for about a year and a half now and there's no way I'm gonna go back to a flat rod. I highly suggest you go out to your local supply house, see if they got solder weld. If they don't, ask them for it because I guarantee you, you won't wanna go back. Hey guys, this is Zach Desjardins and I'm here at the solder weld headquarters and I wanna show you a few products. So what we have here is a multi-metal solder. What makes this rod special is that it melts at 350 degrees. Then it gives you a strength of 20,000 PSI. So this rod gives you the highest pressure bond with the lowest flow rate. And that's why they call this the rescue rod. All right, so the first thing you wanna do when you're doing this type of solder, you're gonna use the flux. You're gonna apply a little bit of flux where the, where the metals are gonna meet. And once you do that, you can heat up the material at a very low temperature. Again, this rod melts at 350 degrees. So once you get your base material up to 350 degrees, 
you can, you'll actually see the, the flux turn to a, a golden brown in color. Then you know it's ready to apply the rod. So at that point, you wanna remove the heat and apply, the, apply your rod. And if you noticed, I only did it on one side because what the flux is gonna do is it's gonna pull that rod all the way around the joint, or in this case, the two pieces of metal for me. So let's check out this joint that I just soldered. This looks absolutely beautiful. Now, again, all I had to do was apply the rod on one side and it flowed evenly all the way around to give it a nice tight bond that is extremely strong. Again, we're at 20,000 PSI strength where it flows at 350 degrees. That is insane. You can use a small little butane torch. Even for you guys that are in areas where you don't want to pull, um, you know, a hot permit or a, you know, a flame permit, you can literally use a heat gun to heat up the pipe or the material to 350 degrees and get it flowing. So if you guys are looking for a rescue rod, this is the rod for you. Now today, I used copper and brass, but this is good for all types of dissimilar metals. So whether if you're in a tight crawl space or an addict, whatever it is, this low melting at 350 degrees is gonna get you out of those tight spots. Hey guys, this is Zach Desjardins, and I'm here at the Solder Weld headquarters, and I wanna show you a few products. All right, so what I have here is the 56% silver solder. Now this is 56% silver with a external coated flux. Now this is really good for dissimilar metals. You can do copper to stainless, copper to copper. You can even do copper to brass as I have here. And that's what I'm gonna demonstrate for you today. So what I'm gonna show you today, I've got a brass valve, I'm gonna be bonding it to copper. Now, this is also the same situation when you're out in the field with a TXV or another ball valve, isolation valve, anything like that. Um, any of those will be the same situation that I have today. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and get this clamped down. Now, with this 56% rod, since it has the flux on the outside, I don't need an alternative flux. I can go straight to heating it up and applying the flux. So with this rod, what you wanna do is heat up the material like you normally would. And then you wanna take the rod and apply the flux to the joint. Once you start to see the flux travel all the way around the joint, you can continue to heat it up and then start to slowly apply the rod to the joint. And then what you'll see is that it will, the flux will take that rod material and just go all the way around the joint for you, nice and smooth. So with the flux coated rod, that allowed me to get this nice smooth joint all the way around with little effort. Now, all I had to do is make sure I had the heat at the right temperature to where this flux would just wrap all the way around. And once it did that, I could start applying the filler rod into the joint. And then from there, it just wrapped around nicely. So as you can see, it's a nice clean joint, nice powerful bond. Now again, this 56% rod, this is the ultimate rod. So this is gonna get you out of a lot of situations if you're trying to do copper to stainless steel, um, copper to brass like I did here. So a lot of different variations. So you can purchase this one as a standalone kit here, or it comes in the all-in-one canister as well. Hey guys, this is Zach Desjardins, and I'm here at the Solder Well headquarters, and I wanna show you a few products. working with some heat sensitive components like this valve here, solder welds got you covered. They came out with the hot block. Now this is a heat absorbent putty. Now what it can do is block up to 3000 degrees within a half an inch. That is crazy. So what you wanna do is just apply a thin layer around the component that you're gonna be heating or close to where you're gonna be heating. So all you wanna do is get you a handful 
of the putty. Now this is reusable. So if it, if it starts to dry out, all you need to do is add a little bit of water and mix it in a little bit and then it'll get its consistency right back. Now you can use this hot block on any types of valves, not just ball valves or TX valves. You can use them on reversing valves. You can do on king valves, service valves on the, on the air conditioning systems, any type of heat sensitive component. So you're, you're talking about your low pressure switches, high pressure switches, anything like that. This product will make sure none of those components fail due to overheating. Now, if you guys need more additional protection while you're brazing, check out what starter wheel came out with. They got a magnetic flame resistant blanket. What's really cool about this is it has internal magnets. So if you need to attach it to an air conditioner, you can do so and not worry about holding it. It also has these eyelets. So if you are working interior somewhere and you have some screws that you can just screw to the wall, whatever it is that you can do, you can hook it that way as well. Now that's gonna help you protect the equipment, the customer's equipment, uh, or yourself, depending on what your situation you're in. Hey guys, this is Zach Desjardins, and I'm here at the Solder Well headquarters, and I want to show you a few products. Cinema. I've got alloy saw here. This is their flagship rod for any aluminum repair. It works in conjunction with the alloy saw flux. Now, to be honest with you guys, I've only done a handful of different repairs on aluminum coils. This is something new coming into the market. But I will say, once I did one or two repairs, I was blown away on how easy it is to use this product. Let me show you how we can do that. Now, because this is a soldering rod and it melts at 600 degrees, we could use something as easy as a map gas torch here. We don't have to use something like the oxyselling torch. Now with aluminum, this can melt through at roughly 1200 degrees. So we don't wanna get it anywhere near that temperature to fix the repair. That just makes me feel a whole lot more comfortable at a lower heat. If you guys are anything like me, I'm a little apprehensive when it comes to heating up aluminum because it's so thin, I'm worried I'm just gonna blow a hole right through it. Now that's where the flux comes in handy. Now, it applies a white chalky film, and then when it heats to that 600 degrees, right where you want it to be, it turns clear, and that's when you know you can apply your rod. Not only does this flux help you out in determining when you can apply the rod, but it also cleans and preps the work area so you can make sure you get a good tight bond. So the first thing you wanna do is heat the end of the rod, and then dip it down into the flux and get a good buildup of the flux onto the rod. Then what you wanna do before you actually heat up the joint that you're gonna be working on or the repair itself, you want to melt the flux onto the site that you're gonna be repairing. And then you can start slowly heating up the area until you see that flux go from a white to a clear. And again, when it's clear, you are ready to apply the rod. Now, one thing you wanna make sure is you don't poke the rod into the surface area that you're gonna be working on. You wanna lightly lay the rod onto the hole and then let it melt over and you'll get a nice clean bond. All right, so as you can see, I was able to make this repair without disturbing any other joints in the area. So not causing me to have to create more repairs or even a callback in the future. So I wanna stress that these types of repairs is very important. As we go into the future, in this industry, you're gonna see more and more of aluminum repairs that need to be done. So I highly suggest you guys pick up these rods Learn this technique because I guarantee you, you're going to need it in the future. Hey guys, this is Zach Desjardins and I'm here at the Solder Well headquarters and I want to show you a few products. Cinema. All right, so I have Alcott Braze here. This is a flux core rod that Solder Weld came out with to help us braze copper to aluminum, which that's just crazy in itself because those two metals were never made to be bonded to one another. 
Now, what's really cool about this rod is that it melts at eight to 900 degrees, which is a very low temperature for brazing. What makes this rod so cool is that you don't have to do anything special that you would normally do when you're brazing any other type of copper. All you have to do is heat up the material and apply it, and that internal flux takes care of the job for you. So when you're brazing the copper to aluminum, one thing to keep in mind is that that aluminum metal will heat up a lot quicker than the copper will. So what we wanna do is make sure that we heat up the copper around the coupling side or even maybe a little bit lower and have the torch turned down so that way you don't burn the aluminum. So apply the heat to the copper side and just slowly work your way around until you feel that it's ready. And then apply that rod and just watch the Alcott braze flux just flow around that joint nice and smooth to give you a nice tight bond. Science. All right, so as you can see, looking at this joint after I brazed it, it looks beautiful. Now that was with minimal effort. I have to say, this rod does all the work for you. As long as you heat up that joint properly and don't overheat the aluminum, the rod does the rest. Now you can get these Alcott braze in, in a single tube like this, an all-in-one canister, or these badass tech bags. Hey guys, this is Zach Desjardins, and I'm here at the Solder Well headquarters, and I want to show you a few products. Cinema. So I just got done showing you all the rods that Solder Weld has to offer. Now, if you want to pick up yourself an all-in-one brazing kit, they've got you covered. Now, this is a really nice canister. It's watertight, airtight, and it keeps all the necessary rods all in one place. Now, this is what I like because I can keep it in my truck, and no matter what job I'm on, I can just grab it and go make the repair and not have to fumble around with different rods depending on what job I'm going to be doing. All right, so this kit comes with the Alsol rods and the Alsol flux, as well as the 56% and the 15% and the Alcott braze. So basically, you got anything you need in one canister on the truck, you're good to go. Now again, this kit comes with the 15%, but you can choose 5% as well, depending on your needs. Watertight, airtight, all in one. Gets the job done. Hey guys, this is Zach Desjardins, and I'm here at the Solder Weld headquarters, and I want to show you a few products. Cinema. This is Solder Weld's aluminum coil repair tech bag. It's an awesome rugged little bag that could be attached to your tool belt, a tool bag, whatever it is to get you up in the attic, crawl space, wherever you're gonna be working to repair that aluminum coil. Now these bags are available in black or camo, whichever fits your style. So what comes in this repair kit is the alloy saw flux, the alloy saw rods, the Alcop braze rods, a little wire brush, content card, everything that's in the bag, and a rag. So that's pretty much an all-in-one kit that you're gonna need out in the field. Cinema. 